There's different home styles across America. Colonial, ranch, Victorian. What people are doing is they're mixing and they're matching. They're adding their own personalities. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today on Collect This. Now today, you're in for a little surprise. We're gonna give you a behind the scenes, inside peek at my place, believe it or not, okay? So we'll start on the outside. This is a townhouse, about a 1918 colonial revival townhouse. It's brick, it's in New York, it's about 22 feet wide, and I bought it 10 years ago. And on the front, it has these, this beautiful arch window on the second floor. And it's a place that's really steeped in history. I mean, even Audrey Hepburn actually stayed there when she was filming Breakfast at Tiffany's in the summertime, just a few blocks that's, away. That's great. Let's go inside. I mean, the one place where I really didn't change much and I wanted to keep with the period of the, of the townhouse is by keeping this fireplace. Love it. It's, not, it's marble with a brass surround and cast iron. And look what I put above it. Let me give you a test. What do you think that My is? My favorite thing. It's an 1860 mirror with log patterns. But we basically left that all alone. But then there's an elevator. Wasn't that like covered with paint when you first got it? All those, that beautiful wood? I mean, this had... 20 coats of paint. I was yeah. scraping and scraping and scraping the glass. And now it looks like an old English pub. It has all the wear marks and it, it, it really works. Even it's, though it's the slowest elevator in the world, <laughs> it takes a, it gets you there. It takes about an hour to get up to the <laughs> fifth floor. You're right, you're right. So onto the, my office. And my office is like an interchanging place because everything's for sale, basically. Everything has a price tag. Okay, know? what's your favorite thing yeah. in that room, Les? I'll tell you, I have to tell you that table. Fontana Art, right? Love Fontana it. Art, 1950s. So we mixed all these things together. Mark Newson, Wicker chairs. What James you... Brooks paintings. He had a studio with Jackson Pollock. I love that. But the, architecturally, all we had is really here a couple of radiators. We covered them up right. so that you could put these wrought iron handles on top. You can put anything there, but it gives you an extra place to display art. Looks great. So, now upstairs, when you go upstairs on that winding staircase, you know, mm -hmm. right near my office to the second floor, there's these moldings, and these are 1918 Colonial Revival moldings. We left all that, of course. I could never take that out of the house. Now, let me give you a test. Who made the lamp? His name is Henningsen, and he made some of the greatest 1950s lamps in the world. Would you give that a collect this stamp? That deserves a collect this stamp. Okay, absolutely. Okay, collect this. Now, when you go upstairs into my apartment, and not many people have gotten up there, okay? I've let you up a couple times, haven't I? Well, yeah, but I've seen it only messy. You cleaned it up in this picture. Yeah, this is unbelievably neat. So this is really hard to recognize that it's my place, but it actually is, okay? So when I redid the place, it's, we basically had no mantle. So we actually created a mantle, which is very simple. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that look like a picture frame to you, Les? I love it. What about that? That's from the, uh, let's see, that's from the Azmat tribe. It's an Aborigine tribe, and, and something looks kind of familiar. I mean, I didn't, I didn't give you permission to use that shield oh, back there. Geez. I don't know, you brought it. I brought thought it you in? wouldn't notice. I didn't, who, who'd you talk I with about that? I sneaked it in. All right, well, above the fireplace is my favorite painting, the Baby Frankenstein. Baby Frankenstein, okay. And that's another one that's right behind us, okay? So, I mean, this is, uh, this is crazy. You, you got my whole apartment. I've got nothing <laughs> left in there, okay? So, so anyway, this is a really a mix of all kinds of things in this apartment. Now, this is my absolutely favorite thing, okay? Great. It is a deli sign. And I spent years down on, I live down near 35th Street on the Lower East Side, trying to buy this deli sign from this guy. I said, will you take 300? Will you take 400? Will you take 500? He said, I can't sell it, it's my, it's my sign, it's my deli sign. So one day, I walked over, they were destroying the deli, and I walked up to a guy that was there, kind of lugging junk out, and I said, uh, can I buy that deli sign? He said, if you can carry it, buddy, you can have it. Weighs so, about 200 pounds. About 200 pounds of slate. So I got my brother here to take it back with me, and there it is. It's a work of art, I think. I, I love that it. That deserves a click this time. Okay. Anyway, I put that above a circa 1720 original uh, ball foot chest made in New York of Gumwood, right, with the original finish. Really rare. With the Pueblo pot uh, up on top. The Pueblo. Oh, I sneaked that one in too. Pueblo. Wait, is that the same? That's it. That's, that's it, Lee. One? I thought you wouldn't notice. It's the same. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how I mixed it up in my 19th century home, creating my own Kino style. You can do the same thing with your home. It's easy and it's fun and it's all about you. Thanks for joining us on Collect This.